Today's video is a free investing course designed to save you time and money that will hold your hand and help you to become an investor. Someone who can invest with confidence and skill. And this will be done in five simple steps. My goal is to really accelerate your journey to financial freedom. Basically, I want you to get to a point where you have enough money to live life on your own terms. This simple step-by-step -step process is going to teach you one, how to invest, two, where to invest, and three, how to invest safely. Before we start, I want to give you some background about me and my investing journey so far. I started investing in property as a very optimistic 19 year old, but market ups and downs like the financial crisis of 2008 took the toll and my relationship with money and investing went from bad to worse. I became the expert on how not to invest because I made all the mistakes. Mistakes this course is going to help you avoid. I had a negative decade between 2008 and 2018. I was a terrible investor and my mental health suffered as I had a really bad relationship with money and investing. But I've managed to turn things around and now consider myself a skilled investor as things have dramatically improved over the last five years. With experience and knowledge, I've transformed into a long-term investor. Long-term with property, index investing, single stocks and crypto. What separates me from the rest is that I will tell you everything. Step one is money mindset. Let me tell you about my mindset during my negative decade. I had a negative mindset, especially surrounding money and investing. I worried about money, I'm worried about work. Like what if my job ends and I can't find another one? How will I afford the bills? How will I support my family? Just a constant loop of negativity overthinking everything and this led to stress and anxiety. As you can imagine, I was a barrel of laughs at home with my family and the same when it came to my mates. But to be honest, I did hide it quite well on the weekend when I socialized either with my wife or with my mates down the pub. But there were long periods when I'd spend far too much time mourning about our money to my wife, my poor wife. Like where does our money go? How come we can't save any money? blah 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 please don't let this be you and get your money mindset right from the start because from my experience it is so so important money mindset is step one in this course because it's the foundation for everything else get this right and everything else follows here's what worked for me and helped me improve my money mindset and that was fully fully understand your relationship with money if you can take an honest look at how you are with money, you can determine what type of an investor you are. I'd done this, realized I'd always been an emotional investor, and this understanding helped me when deciding how to invest. Another important step with mindset is failing forward and overcoming your mistakes quickly. You will make mistakes as an investor. The key is learning and moving on ASAP. Focusing on your environment is another big one. Your environment matters, but this is not easy. Being around positive, like-minded investors is what you need from my experience. Last but not least is the fact that you have to be neutral with money and investing. This is one of my biggest lessons over the last few years. Trust me, emotional investing doesn't work. Being neutral and calm does when it comes to money and investing. Step two, personal finance. I never used to prioritize personal finance and my blase attitude led to financial pain. After 2012, my income practically doubled. This was down to hard work and the fact that I'd done loads of extra courses and even went back to the classroom to get a degree. The income was brilliant. The problem was my spending soon matched my income. This is called lifestyle creep and something I want you to try and avoid. This got even worse in 2016 when my spending was much more than my income. Not good. And honestly, all the stuff I didn't really need didn't make me happier. It meant I continued spending too much time worrying about money. If you don't focus on personal finance, you won't have spare money to invest. 
let me tell you how my personal finance has improved since late 2018. It started with a budget. Create a budget and stick to it. This isn't easy, but personal finance is a must before you start investing. Remove some expenses so you've got spare cash to invest, like subscriptions you don't really need, or reducing the amount you spend each week on takeaways. Focus on paying off high interest debt as fast as you can. Not easy on all, but again, it frees up money to invest. You can remove negative emotions with a cash buffer. Most personal finance experts recommend three to six months expenses. Trust me, that cash buffer of three to six months expenses brings calmness. Basically, you need to fully understand your income and your expenses. If you earn 2K per month and spend 2K per month, you're month to month. So you know you have to find a way to reduce your expenses or increase your income. With good personal finance, you definitely on the way to becoming a skilled investor. Step three is basic economics. This step is about financial literacy. The more you learn, the more you earn, as they say. I've made too many mistakes in my 20 years as an investor, painful mistakes. And a big reason for this was zero financial literacy. That's why basic economics is a must for me, as it improves your understanding of money and investing. You need to learn things like what exactly money is. Money is an exchange of value. It's a unit of measure and it's a store of wealth. It's not good, it's not bad, it's neutral. Learn about the history of money and you start to see how the financial system works. You learn about the broken financial system with things like QE, the money printers, inflation, etc. Look to learn all about interest rates and understand loans and credit cards, but Let's finish economics off with a positive, the magic of compound interest. Understanding compound interest is a must for any investor. As you can see, I'm just giving you snippets of info with each step. This is basically a very condensed course, but if you want to learn more, you can find details of my full course, Complete Investing for Beginners, below in the description. This contains all of my 20 years of experience and comes with a money back guarantee. Step four, invest in mistakes to avoid. As I've touched on, I've made too many mistakes, like losing my life savings in my mid twenties. What makes this worse is that my wife was due to give birth to our second daughter and we were moving home. Let's just say I wasn't flavor of the month in the Duffy house. This particular mistake was me basically gambling in the stock market and it was down to zero financial education and poor emotional intelligence. This goes back to step one, money mindset and fully understanding your relationship with money. This step is really what makes this course unique. In the full course, I tell you everything, all my mistakes from over 20 years as an investor. Mistakes like investing without education, chasing quick, easy money, for more investing, getting too emotional and much more. What I want you to understand is that you will make mistakes, but I want you to learn quickly and move past them. Don't dwell on them like I did during that painful negative decade. Step five, how to start in the stock market. Exactly what this course has been leading up to. You already know how I started in the stock market. But in 2019, I found a way that suited me as an investor. Remember, I told you that I've always been an emotional investor. Well, armed with this knowledge, again, going back to step one, I found a way to invest in the stock market that was best suited for me. A safe way to invest that many experts recommend for beginners. This is knowledge I wish I'd had 20 years ago. Index investing is what worked for me and has become my favorite way to invest. Instead of picking one stock like I did when I first started, you invest into a fund. That fund contains hundreds or even thousands of stocks, so your risk is spread out or reduced. There's quite a lot to cover with stocks. That would be far too much for this condensed course. This is just to give you a taster of what works for me and why. You need to understand index investing or whatever it is you invest in, like an ETF exchange traded fund. Then you need to learn how to buy index funds using platforms. 
I cover this and much more in the full course. Anyway, that completes the first five steps. I really hope this video helped you as an investor and you can take some info away that will bring you real value. There are some huge opportunities coming up with investing, especially in technology, AI and crypto. Don't miss out and do your very best to learn how to become an investor so you can secure your financial future. This is just the start. If you want to learn more advanced investing strategies, you can check out Complete Investing Part 2 and this video can be found below in the description. Thanks for taking time out of your day to watch this video.